just be out cruising with us. In this video, we want to share with you our JBO Pro tips for cruising. We've been cruising for a while and we've put together really cool tips and some of our mistakes that you don't want to do when you set on your next cruising itinerary. That's right, don't make the same mistakes we did. So we're here to pass this information on to you. If you're new to our channel, my name is Devon. And I'm Irina. And we are Just, Just Be Out. Out. We create informative travel videos so you get the most out of your vacation. If it's your first time cruising or you're a platinum member, no matter. <laughs> JBO Pro Tips is what you need. Just, Just be out, out with, with us. us. Cheers. After you check in for your cruise, cruise lines will send you emails to print out your luggage tags. But here's a JBO Pro Tip for you. You actually do not have to print the tag if you don't have a printer or you just don't like to print it and then figure out how you're going to stick it well once you come in for your cruise they will actually give you a luggage tag for every piece of your luggage all cruise lines at the port do that when you come in you'll just ask for the luggage tags and they will gladly provide it for you our next jbo pro tip is find out what cruise ship port your cruise ship is sailing out of for example today we are doing two back-to-back -back cruises to southern caribbean out of san juan and on our cruise ship itinerary it says sailing out of san juan and it does not tell you what port it actually sails out from and we've been to San Juan before and our cruise ship docked right in old San Juan and that's where we thought that we would actually go and in our Uber, by the way Puerto Rico does have Uber service, in our Uber service we put that cruise ship port but as we were on the way to that port I actually saw our Norwegian Epic docked at this port and our driver uber driver told us that there are actually two cruise ship ports which we did not know about and you know learn from our mistakes <laughs> and find out which port you are sailing out of exactly we've been cruising for a while and we know to check in the earlier the earlier you check in that means the earlier spot you will get to check in for your cruise and get on board that means you will start your vacation even earlier the check-in starts anywhere from 11 30 12 30 1 30 and later well pro tip for you double check your check-in this time when i was checking us in for the norwegian epic i did it through their app i picked up the time slots to get on the ship or uh, on board uh, entered all passport information credit card photos everything well a few days later i see in the email that i still need to check in so i did it again on my phone and it did not go through second time only from the third time it my check-in went through from the computer and all the early spots were already taken so our check-in is actually at 3 30 p.m this time but we're still uh, here earlier and we'll see if they will let us check in early or not i'll let you know though the next JBO Pro tip is for your check-in. Some check-in process takes super fast. We just had our uh, Royal Caribbean Voyager of the Seas check-in and it was literally four minutes. Some check-in takes up to three hours, believe it or not. So the pro tip, bring snacks bring water especially for your kids some terminals are different some terminals have um, do have vending machines and some don't so we highly recommend to bring some snacks because you never know what your check-in process is going to be like and here's something to take note of well if you don't have an issue rushing to get on the ship if you have a check-in time that's later it's best to actually wait till later to board. So for example, our boarding time was four o'clock. The ship doesn't leave till eight. And I know there's a big rush for everybody to get on the ship and everyone is excited to start their vacation. 
But if you can hold off and wait somewhere, maybe in your hotel, or maybe do some shopping in the area where you are, board a little later because then your check-in process will be seamless and really, really quick. You're just gonna blow right through just like we did. One thing you'd want to keep into consideration is when you're first coming on a cruise ship, whether you've sailed before or you're a first-time cruiser, you need to be patient on the first and the last day. And here's why, if you haven't noticed. On the first day, everyone is coming on the ship. Sometimes they've never seen the ship before, they never sailed the ship before. They don't know where things are, so people are kind of... And meanwhile, you're trying to maybe get to your cabin or try to get somewhere else. And people are just kind of in a daze, walking around, looking at different things. And also, when you come on board, boarding time is usually in the afternoon. So you're pretty much, it's lunchtime. So what happens? The cafeterias just get congested with people and it's, there's like a long line. And of course, you're hungry and people are irritable and people are kind of cutting the lines at times. You just have to be patient. Why? Because after that first day, everything calms down. As I say, the dust settles because now everyone kind of is a little bit more familiar with the ship. They know where they're going and they kind of know the ins and outs. And then from there, towards the end of the ship, now everyone wants to get off and everyone wants to get off as fast as possible. They have flights to catch, places to go. So knowing your luggage tags, it gets a little bit confusing when you check out, when you don't. So people are the elevators. Forget about taking the elevators. If you can, take the stairs. As long as you don't have giant suitcases with you, take the stairs because the elevators are a mess. And you will, if you do get on the elevator and you're on the higher decks, it's like going local. It'll stop at every single floor and no one can get off and no one can get on just because because you're going to one destination. You will find a lot of advice on the internet to print everything for your cruise, your cruise itinerary, your cruise confirmation, any specialty dining, excursion, print, 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 print. People love to print, but I think printing days are over now and now you actually do not need to print anything. And that is our next GBO Pro tip. You do not need to print your reservations, but what you do need to know is your room number so when you check in all you need to really know is your room number and provide your documents and they will pull up your reservations really easily and fast so if you really want to have your reservation and itinerary just save it on your phone just for your sake just to have it but nowadays you do not need to print it happy cruising if you don't want to get an astronomical phone bill, be sure to put your phone on airplane mo mode right before you set sail. And if you want to get data service on your phone in international countries, we actually created a separate video on how to get affordable data overseas. All cruise ships have a lot of shopping on board, but here's a pro tip for you. Bring all the toiletries that you need with you because number one, on your very first day when you're in port, shops are closed because whenever the ships are docked, the shops are closed. And look at this toiletry convenience store it is extremely limited so it is only has a few things so whatever you need all your basic needs when you think you would need on the very first day of your sailing be sure you have it with you before you cruise you want to know everything about the ship uh, the layout the pros and the cons well we are filming everything for you so be sure to subscribe to our channel and click notification bell so you do not miss when that video comes out another great way to find out all the information you need about your specific sailing is to join a, gr a facebook group for each ship so that's uh, one of the groups so for example in the region Epic has its own Facebook group where passengers that already had sail on the Norwegian Epic share their experience about the embarkation process and about everything the ship has to offer, including the stop. So you can go on that group, ask people questions that you are interested in. Another Facebook group that you might want to join is for your specific sailing date. Find that Facebook group for your specific sailing date so you can 
already start meeting people and making friends even before you get on board and you can organize meetups maybe go to the bar together or do some fun activities together and already make friends even before your vacation starts I know many of you cruise for food and when you think of a cruise you think unlimited dining you can order three entrees five appetizers all the desserts on the menu but it's not the same when you come when it comes to the specialty dining and this is something to keep in mind of back when we used to cruise uh, we would come to specialty dining and we could order several entrees to try several appetizers several desserts and that would be all included in the specialty dining that you purchase and of course it's an up sale but now the concept has changed that at least here on the Norwegian when you get a specialty dining package it only includes two appetizers one entree and one dessert so you can no longer have several main courses and several desserts to try and also another thing to keep in mind is that they still have up charges so there are some items on the menu for example lobster tail you cannot even get in the specialty dining which is a separate package that you still have to pay for and on top of that you have to pay for the uh, extra charges for some specialty food as well if you like bottled water you do have to pay but all cruise ships do have free water and free ice so the JBL pro tip would be to bring a large bottle with a wide opening why because number one regular water is not cold so you do have to have it with ice so with a wide opening bottle you can easily fill it with ice number one and then add your water number two it is much faster to fill up I see a lot of people use really small bottles and it takes a lot of time to fill up so it creates a bottleneck all ships have ATMs on their casino sections but keep in mind they do charge up to seven dollars for the ATM fee and plus your bank will charge the transaction from out of your bank transaction as well so the tip for you is bring cash a lot of places uh, a lot of ports of call will require you to use cash for maybe a transfer service shuttle service little tips here and there tip your crew here on the cruise so be sure to bring cash if you need smaller bills you can always exchange it here at the casino now for some jbo pro tips regarding your rooms and your room service aka room steward suites normally do come with bathrobes but if you book in regular state rooms most of the time they will not uh, put the robe right in your closet but you can request for it just ask your room steward for some bathrobes and he or she will gladly bring them to you and if you're sailing for the first time and you don't know you can actually request a lot of different things from your room steward you can uh, ask for maybe smaller or bigger pillows or extra pillows sometimes what you need to know is that if you are a couple they do put single beds together to make up a queen size or a king size bed but uh, you do feel a little gap sometimes in between those beds so you can ask again your room steward to put something on top so you do not feel that gap in between the beds if you don't have enough hangers again ask your room steward for some hangers and be sure to bring some cash with you because at the end of the cruise you will love the service and you're gonna want to leave them some extra appreciation all on both time yeah Bye, and right now is 11 20. 11 20 thank you before you disembark or when you're ready to get on shore me, be sure to confirm what is all aboard time if you don't see it posted anywhere and also very important to 
confirm the ship time and your time on your cell phone or on your watch because sometimes uh, when you go to different places uh, the time changes but all aboard it's always for a ship time so be sure to confirm the ship time and also they recommend you to bring your documents with you your passport specifically but what we recommend is JBL Pro tip is actually get passport cards so when you apply for passport you can apply for passport cards and they just look like ID but they actually passport and you can you know uh, if you lose your passport you can uh, restore your passport much easier with passport cards when you go off the shore you don't actually need to carry the actual passport in case it gets wet or even maybe if you lose it if you lose your passport card no big deal it's much easier to restore uh, but you know with actual passport it gets a little bit more complicated so JBO pro tip apply for a passport card and when you get off the ship uh, to ports of call be sure to carry your passport cards with you instead of the actual passport there are a few JBO pro tips when it comes to your dinner dining some cruise ships are different some have just freestyle dining like Norwegian some like Royal Caribbean you can set dining time for either 6 p.m. or 8 p.m. or do my time dining well my time dining starts at 7 30 p.m. but if you still want to come in earlier than my time dining for example you can still come to the restaurant and see if they can find a table for you my fellow cruisers have you ever had the moment after coming back to the ship after your shore excursion your ports of call and doing this where's our sea pass do you have our sea pass and then starting taking everything out from your bag especially if you're in a rush well i have a super simple and handy solution for you lanyards if you have this simple piece of plastic and some string strings or different type of straps it is so easy to find your sea pass i have it attached to my bag so whenever we go off to the shore i have it right here and all i need to do is pull the string and both our sea passes are right here handy they have different type of straps the one with cruise themes they have fancy one with chains if you like to wear it around your neck when we are on the ship I wear it around my wrist and it is really practical and you will never need to stress looking for your sea pass next time when you are on board and you want to stay connected, we have a GBO Pro tip for you. Some Wi-Fi services come per device only and you cannot log out from one device and log in to another device. For example, when we were on MSC Seashore, we did not know that and we logged on uh, on the internet on just one phone and when I wanted to check my emails on my laptop, I was not able to switch devices and they were telling us that we have to buy another package. Well, it's only MSC. Other companies like Royal Caribbean, for example, or the Norwegian uh, um, cruise ships, you can actually buy one package, log in on one device, log out and switch devices log onto the same package but on a different device so you actually can save money and don't buy several wi-fi packages while cruising okay here we go a jbo tip and something you might want to take note of upon sailing the southern caribbean here on the voyages of the seas royal caribbean we notice that it's stop after stop after stop after stop there were actually no days at sea and if you've cruised before you know that's normally a part of the itinerary you have a day at sea and normally what do you do when you have a day at sea well you enjoy everything the cruise has to offer right so everything is on a time schedule you could do your jacuzzi you could do your pool you could do your gambling you could do a lot of things just whatever the ship has to offer well when you're on an itinerary like the one we're on now sailing the southern caribbean you don't really get that so you have to basically get off early in the morning go do your excursions 
come back by the time you shower, get ready for dinner, maybe see a show because you can't really stay up too late because again in the morning we, in, we disembark early and you have to get going again because maybe you've booked certain excursions through the cruise ship and you know you have to be on time. And then you're doing that day in and day out, it does sometimes get a little bit overwhelming. So it's just really something to think about when sailing, especially out of Puerto Rico, which is what we have done. Now, when you sail out of Miami, it might be a little bit different because in Miami, when you sail out of Miami, you have a day at sea to reach the islands. So sometimes in between the islands, depending on your itinerary, you normally have a day at sea. So just something to think about. It can be a little bit grueling doing it this way. These were our personal JBO Pro cruising tips. If you have any pro tips of yours, be sure to leave it in the comment below and share it with our community. In our next video, we will be exploring the beautiful city of Old San Juan and we will be jumping on our next cruise, Royal Caribbean Voyager of the Seas. Thank you so much for watching and as usual, just, just be, be out, out with us. us.